Okay guys, we're going to go through the first form, psyllium tower. Um, I think it's best if I break it down into three different sections so it's easier for you guys to memorize, okay? So let's begin. So we start with our feet together, back nice and straight. Already from here, feel your balance, feel like you're effortlessly holding yourself upright and you just feel comfortable, okay? So forming fists, arm by the side, about chest height. Then we measure our stance, so bending the knees, toes out, and heels out. The stance will be about shoulder width apart and we want it so the toes are pointing into the center line, into the apex of uh, the triangle which would be the end of the fist. Okay, so that's our stance and our fist we want to have it so the wrists are nice and straight with the fist pointing forward into the center line and with the wrist slightly above the elbows. Okay, so from there let's begin with the first section. So left over right on the center line coming out, right in front of left, forming fists and back. Left wrist on the center line, coming straight out, palm flat, turning at the wrist and back. Same on the right side. So left side always goes first and the right side follows. Left palm opens, softly driving the elbow behind the wrist. Once your wrist hits the center line, coming straight out on the center line. This movement is called Tan Sao. El elbows continues to arc into the center line as the wrist drives straight on the center line. Before the arm is fully extended, flatten the palm, rotating at the wrist, so isolate the movement at the wrist joint, coming straight back. This movement is called Wu Sao. For Wu Sao, we want to have it so the wrist is traveling back in a straight line to your, towards your spine, elbows sinking down. Before the arm touches the body, Rotating at the wrist, this movement is called Fuk Sao. This movement we do three times traditionally on each side. Palm flat, turning at the wrist and back. Maintaining that idea of balance, relaxation, that upright feeling and generally trying your best to feel comfortable. Rotating at the wrist. This wrist rotation movements are called Hoon Sao. Coming back and we're going to go out one more time for the third time for Fuk Sao. So as you can notice we're doing this sec section, the first section, quite slowly. This way we can stay mindful of the condition of the whole body. If we just speed it up, chances are our mind is just going to lock into the, uh, the arm that's moving. This way we can feel the whole body as we are moving the arm. Last time back, we're going to parry to the shoulder, back to the center line, palm striking straight out, palm flat, yun sao, back. And same on the right side. So we have a tan sao. See if you can maintain that upright feeling in the body as we're moving the arm. Be mindful of the other arm as well, even though this arm is moving, the other one's not. We're still, so we've got 50-50 um, amount of awareness on each side. This is why it's very important to think upright through the spine from tail to the crown of the head. Then we feel the center of um, the body. And that way we can balance, balancely relax both sides. And what I recommend for you, for you guys that are just beginning learning the sequence, as soon as you can learn the sequence and the shapes, that way you don't have to think about what movement's next, you know, what the shapes are. After you learn the sequence, then you don't have to think about it. Um, and that way, you can focus more on the condition of uh, the mind and the body. So coming back in for Wu Sao, Fuk Sao. Okay, parry to the shoulder. Back to the center, palm striking out, palm flat, turning at the wrist and back. Okay, second section. Left palm strike down, straight down, same as the right. The back, front, all is going to full extension. 
left on top of right. From here, relax the shoulders, drive the elbows. We're going to side slash all the way out to full extension. Coming straight back, right on top of left. Cutting down, drive with the elbows. Drawing back the solar plexus, piercing up to shoulder height. Keep the arms straight as we come down, up, forming fist and back. That was the end of the second section. Now the third section, left palm strike, tilt the hand slightly, same as the right. Left wrist on the center, about navel height, piercing up, cutting down, up again, turning at the wrist, pointing the fingers down, palm strike, palm flat, hewn out, back. Same as the right. And bong out, left palm opens, fingers driving to the center line, elbows arcing around on the outside of the center line, then coming straight down, palm strike, turning, and back. So we want the fingers to point straight into the center line, elbows arcing around, creating two directions of force. Coming down, point the fingers down, expose the heel of the palm for a palm strike, turn at the wrist and back. Then left wrist to the center line, going straight out, right one on top. As the top one dri drives down, the bottom one draws back. We'll do six of those. Five, Six, and then six punches, wrist traveling over the wrist, hitting the same spot in the air. And that's it. That's the end of the ceiling tap